I must say it's a real privilege to be here. Millions from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. I'm Derek Ray. My co-commentator is, as always, Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building up very nicely, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Bayern Munich facing Borussia Dortmund. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Jérôme Boateng starts alongside Niklas Zule at the back. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Well, with the level of competition in Europe, it really is an incredible achievement to make back-to-back -back finals. Only a few teams can claim that. It's certainly not going to be easy, but I tell you, they've got belief, they've got confidence, and I'm pretty sure they all think they can win it tonight. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Mahmoud Dahoud starts alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe. And firing it into the area. And a goal for Bayern. They nudge in front. Well, the opening goal in any game is important for the Champions League final. Wow. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball. Concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. It's with Dahoud. Couldn't keep the ball. Lewandowski, it might be, and a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? absolutely smashes it past the keeper it's a really lovely finish and it's all over now a Champions League success story for Bayern Munich don't forget about the losers but Bayern not focusing on that part of the equation too much. They've done more than enough in this final league. Well, the expectation levels on these players is huge. They'll be expected to win this trophy. But expectation doesn't win anything. You've got to go out and prove you're the best team. They've done that. And look at them celebrate. Brilliant. club steeped in European tradition they always expect to land silverware but my goodness this is always special the coveted trophy awaits well they've been a team Derek they really have that togetherness has put them on that podium Bayern Munich lift the trophy A night for wild celebrations now. No two ways about that. 
Well, their families and their friends will be involved with the celebrations, but this is for the fans. They've been with them through thick and thin. Now they get the reward. Brilliant evening for everybody. Now the party is very much on. The players don't want it to end. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front.